You're welcome, editing dudes. Hello. So this week I have been inspired by the lovely Rachel Maxi and her mini skirts. And I don't have a skirt, so I'm gonna make one. It's basically that simple, although it's not going to be simple because I can't follow instructions. Also, I found a round bed sheet. And if that doesn't tell you that there's skirt making in your near future, then I don't know what does. So last week was kind of a fail. Um, and this is gonna be my redemption story. I hope. I've never sewn a clothing item before, ever. So, I mean... Maybe this is not the best idea for my road to victory. So just to anger the maker gods a little bit more. What could go wrong? So there's nothing else to it but to do it. Let's go. This is what we're working with. This round yellow fabric. Should I iron this? Yes. Am I going to? No. Do I look like a 1950s housewife to you? No. Also, say hi to my 1950s housewife, who's right there. He speaks Spanish. Do I speak Spanish? No. So what's my plan of attack for this beast? Well, like I did with the cape, with the Wanda costume, I know that there's a way to cut out the hole <laughs> where my waist is gonna go. Because as I said, this is already round and I wanna keep as much length as I can. So basically what I need to do is cut out the hole for the waist. That's preferably too big so that I can Wait, let's see. So that I can, oh my God, brain cells dying. So that I can pleat this. Because I do want it to have some pleats. That's gonna be a thing, I don't know. Yeah. So I'm gonna do the waist hole thing and I'm gonna open up the sides so that I can insert pockets. Because who wants a skirt without pockets? What does it have in its pockets, sis? You can't say that if you don't have pockets. Like we need places to put snacks, powerful rings, maybe dead bodies. <laughs> I presume that I'm going to need to follow some instructions for this because I don't even know how to do the pockets. So we'll see how that's gonna work out because apparently I can't follow a recipe. My boyfriend says that that's because I need to be in control. And I'm like, first of all, calm down, Dr. Phil. Thanks for the psychoanalysis. How much do I owe you? You know, that's not, that's not why. I don't need to be in control. Well, I do, but <laughs> it's mostly because I don't follow instructions that well. Things I should put on my resume. Can't follow instructions. Control freak. Hire me. Yeah, I don't, what, I'm wasting time. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing with my life? <laughs> Let's make a skirt. Yeah, let's see how we can fuck this up. How do I... How do you... <laughs> this is dumb. Okay, just, I just did the same thing, but worse. By the power of Adam Savage. Let's make this straight. It's not perfect. Let's face it. It just, it never, it's never going to be. I'm making it, so. Good enough. So what I figured out is that I need to take my waist measurements, divide that by pi times two, and then I should have something. <laughs> then I can just take this 
and whatever number that magically is, and cut it out of the half circle. I don't know, it doesn't make sense. Math never does. But I'm gonna take my waist measurements plus, I don't know, 10 centimeters, because I want some pleats. I want some pleats and I also need to, I don't know, leave some room for a seam allowance, I think. I'm just saying stuff that I just read off of Google. Let's get to cutting. Because I wanna cut something. So first we need to find the center of this half circle. Oh my God. That's <laughs> too short. Oh yeah, baby. We just upgraded. God. Yeah, this is gonna be a great view for you guys. Me crawling around on the floor like an idiot. Let's just say 210. So half of that, 105. 105. Now what? You just feel that this is gonna suck the last bit of life out of my body. If the pumpkin pie wasn't gonna kill me, then this will. Also this t-shirt, because it keeps going up. This is why I'm making my own clothes, because the one you buy suck. I'm angry today. <laughs> Just do 70. We do 70 centimeters. Then it's 1078. Oh, that's, that's just great. How the heck am I gonna measure 1078? I'm just gonna do 11. If you tell me to do something, then I'm probably not going to do it. Put that on my resume too. Hire me to hold this down. I'm gonna have to use my foot for this. This is never going to work if I don't use my feet like an ape. I can feel myself going backwards in evolution. Well, that's about as good as it's gonna get for a monkey person like me. Let's just cut, see what happens. Nah. Circle. Well, that's not a circle. That's an oval. That doesn't bode well, does it? <laughs> What the heck did I just do? Only one way to find out. It's not a circle. I don't know. I don't know any more things. Watch me split this skirt in half. Oh crap. I was just kidding about splitting it in half. Then I did. Oh no, 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 no. Well, that's a side seam. Um, yeah, that happened. What the crap? No. Um, can we just, that's, that's the side seam now. Yes. It's the side seam. No one will ever know that I just hulked out of this thing. Oh man. Things are going so mediocre up to this point. God, wait, there's, there's so much shit everywhere stop what are, where do you go everything is yellow i feel like this is how it always goes for me god damn it let's just pretend that i meant to do that and one at a side seam because guess what we're getting side seams It's 
So now what? I didn't plan this far ahead. <laughs> I never thought I would make it here. What do I do now? I'm gonna go with pockets. Pockets. Let's do pockets. So for the pockets, I'm just gonna draw out like the general shape of my hand, but like a blob. I'll show you. I have also gotten this off the internet. Just like everything else that I know. So yeah, this is the general idea here that you're gonna do like your hand and a bit of your arm, I think. Just do like a blob shape. Here we go. There's my blob. Like an ugly oven mitt. So now we need to put this on fabric. And I do have leftovers from the sheet, the bed sheet, like the ruffle part that goes around it. So I'm just gonna use that. And I'm gonna cut this out. And I'm also gonna try to cut the waistband out of this because this is all I have. Can't this just be enough? <laughs> enough. All that matters is that I can get two of these. No, four. I'm gonna need four of these. Two for each pocket. Math. You know what? I am quickly running out of daylight and also how many fucks I have to give. So I'm just gonna iron this and I'll be back tomorrow morning. Bye. Good morning. So I made a mistake yesterday. Well, I made many mistakes yesterday. Oh crap. But this is about the pockets. So Luckily, I had to iron the fabric that I was gonna cut the pockets out of. And I realized that the shape of the pockets that I cut out is wrong. So, I'll show you. So, this is the one that I cut out yesterday. And as you can see, this is where the problem is. You have probably already figured this out. That if I attach this to the side seam, it's gonna stick straight out. And I don't know about your pockets, but they usually don't do that. So instead I cut out this one with a slanted edge. So this is not gonna stick straight out. This is gonna point downwards, which is what we want, hopefully. Yeah, so I think I managed to fix that mistake in time. Uh, I'm gonna get to cutting these out and then it's the waistband, I think. That's next. And I'm gonna Google all of this. Don't worry about it. There's no... There's no rules in sewing. I mean, there are rules, but they're more like actual guidelines anyways. So what have I learned today? Don't be avant-garde with your pocket. No one's going to see them anyways. Let's cut out some pockets. And we're back at it. Back on the floor. So I'm going to double the fabric and cut out two at a time. I'm not going to do four because I don't know. I feel like the world is going to explode if I try to do more. I got to have sneeze. Gosh, I hate when that happens. It's like the universe promised me a sneeze and it just took it away. Is this the right one? Yeah, good. <laughs> After all of that and I would have cut out the wrong one, that would have sucked. Do I need to pin this down? Just a pocket. God damn it. 
Uh, no, I'm gonna pin it. <laughs> My hand gonna fit through this. Did I make it too small? I better not have made it too small. I mean, I have small hands, so if only, ow, god damn it. If only I can get into my pockets, then that's a good thing. It's like built-in security system for snack thieves. Maybe I should make it bigger on the other pockets. And have one snack safe pocket and one just filled with glass. <laughs> Sorry if the audio was weird. I am wearing clothes for a five-year-old, so... We're working with a lot of things here. Here we go. Two pockets. The bigger one for snacks. Smaller one is for smaller snacks. So I'm gonna pin this to the fabric. Um, yeah. Let's do that. Let's, let's pin them. So one of the guides that I looked through said that pockets should start three inches down from the waist if you're an adult. I'm technically an adult, so we're going with that. And luckily for me, this has inches on it. Otherwise, what's an inch? And I'm not gonna explain how I do all of this because frankly, it will be a miracle if this covers my legs by the end of it. So you don't need directions from me. Yeah, we got all the sides pinned. If it's right, um, I don't know. Why are you acting weird? Why are you breaking thread? I just think it's generally mad at me. Don't embarrass me in front of my friends. Why did you do like a long ass stitch that no one asked for? You know, people are so always like, gotta go slow. And I'm like, faster! Pedal to the metal, baby. <sighs> this is why you don't sew. annoying and stupid. So I finished putting on the pockets. So what's left is sewing the sides and I'll show you how I'm pinning this and then I'm gonna sew it and then I'm gonna run to my feet up because I'm stressed. <laughs> yeah so I have pinned the side of the skirt all the way up right sides together. So here's the pockets. Um, both of them. So I'm gonna stitch the, um, the top parts from the waist and then around the pockets all the way down and then all the way down the side of the skirt leaving this hole for my hand. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that on both sides and then tomorrow we'll work on the waistband and probably got some problem solving to do. Yeah. Meet you back here tomorrow. Day three. And it's so cold outside today. It's like minus 13 or 14 degrees right now. So what better day to sew a skirt? Yeah, I don't know when I'm gonna wear this skirt. It's gonna be a couple of months, probably. But hey, it's some yellow. I can just look at it and pretend that I'm on Bali or something. So what do we have to do today? We have the waistband. We have an opening because I don't want to be splitting the skirt in half every time I get in it. That's a cool party trick, but you know, maybe not for every day, but it's gonna get done today. I have decided that I will own a yellow skirt by the end of this day. Let's go. 
Yeah. So, what do we do first? I'm thinking that the first thing I should do is make an opening in the back of this so that I can actually try it on. So yesterday I finished up the pockets and the side seams. So it's kind of hard to show you because it's all just a pile of yellow fabric. For my skill level, I would say that I did okay. Yeah. One pocket is slightly harder to get into. That's my safety pocket. Back to this shit. Okay. Let's see if I can put this on. Come on, thighs. Act like you've never seen carbs before. So what I want to do is add some pleat at the front. And I think I have just enough room back here. I don't know if you can see this, but I do have a lot of room, it feels like. I don't know how to do pleats. This I haven't Googled at all. Four and fold two centimeters on the dot. Look at me eyeballing stuff. Well, I'm gonna sew the pleats down. I'm gonna stitch them down at the top so they stay. Then I'm just gonna start doing the waistband. Let's go. And we're back. Yeah, that went okay. It's time to cut out the waistband. So enough of this, onto this. So my waist is 65 centimeters on a good day. That's why I'm gonna err on the side of mac and cheese, pizza, pizza waist. Let's just call it pizza waist. This is the part that people just skim over. They're like, yeah, cut the waistband. I'm like, how? Help? We're going to pin this on the skirt. I'm sorry this part is so boring. It's even more boring for me. So we successfully did the first part of the waistband. And I'm in shock because it looks good. Like, this is some professional level shit right here. So now we gotta fold this part in, basically like that, all the way around. Can you see that? The last part of this is gonna be a lot of <sighs> praying to Adam Savage. After this waistband shenanigans, I have the buttonhole left to do. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And I think I'm gonna meet you back with the finished results. And that will probably be tomorrow morning. Because look at me, I'm in the dark. I'm literally in the dark sewing a skirt and it's one o'clock. So, Let's put a pin in this. Bye. We did it, you guys. Like, it's a skirt that doesn't suck. We made a thing. This is my redemption story. How the heck? 
It does have some issues, I'm not gonna lie. The hem is kind of awful, but you can't really tell because it's a long full skirt, so I don't care. Uh, the opening in the back is like it's puckering a bit, but I can probably just, what do you call it? Press it. That's the word, press. Yeah, so overall I'm super happy with it. Like the fit in the waist is amazing. I can't believe that happened because at the end of this I was totally winging it. There was no measuring going on at all. So how it fits my waist, like, I don't know. That's black magic. Look at it. It's really wrinkly, so don't look too hard. I'm sorry that this turned out to be such a rush at the end. That's mainly because I was over it. Um, second of all, you just, you can't watch someone pin something for that long. And trust me, I'm the one editing this, so I know just how boring that is. Yeah, and I also caught a cold at the end of this. So if I sound grass being cool, then no, it's not gonna last. So yeah, that's it you guys, and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing me struggle, or seeing the redemption at the end, or maybe all of it, or none of it. Leave hate comments, unsubscribe, you know the drill. I'm gonna go and pump myself full of medicine and hot chocolate and edit this. Yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, we gotta remember what's what. I'm not gonna remember what's what. <laughs> Why am I out of breath? I've hardly been moving. <laughs> Gosh. I hate everything. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Hulk smash. Hulk split skirt. I feel like my family is going to be so proud of me and all the things that I have accomplished.